Hey guys, welcome back. This is the first part of lecture 63 of our bootcamp series. In this lecture, we will discuss about find query method. So let's understand about find query method. So the find query method requires an argument and that is the primary key for that model instance. Usually we use the auto generated ID attribute of a model in a find query and you can run this query like uh, so to run this query, let's open your terminal and uh, run the rails console. And in this console, we will try to find any student using find query. So student dot find. Here you can see that uh, as soon as I run this student dot find one, it fetched the student with ID one from the database. Okay. If the matching record will not found, this will raise an exception that is active record, record not found. Okay, for example, let's say if I try to face the student with ID 100, then dot find 100. And you can see that I am getting an error here that is active record, record not found and could not find a student with ID 100. And this is the error you will get when the supply you a student with not pa, uh, match with the supplied id okay now in uh, rails console we are just passing this id directly but in controllers you usually write uh, it this query like uh, rails find params and then you pass id here okay or whatever you supply argument name in the params so this is how this query works in the controller okay and the find query is mainly used for the member actions in a controller like show, destroy, edit and update. For example, if you see, look at the students controller in our uh, application. Here you can see that uh, with index, new and create, we are using these actions as a collection method. But with show, edit, update and destroy, here you can see that we have set uh, this query student.find params id and this is used for all the member actions okay now you can supply multiple arguments to a find method as well just like this let's say here we provide a list of ids into student.find query let's say one two three and four okay so when you pass this this will find the students with id one two three and four Okay, or you can also provide this this argument or, or these IDs as a list here uh, rather than passing an array. Let's just like one, two, three, four. Okay, if you pass this as list, then it will run the same query and find the all the students with matching IDs in the database. But this will result in active record not found exception if any of the argument or in the list or array does not match with any existing student's ID. For example, let's say if you find it uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 100, then you will get an error that could not find all students with 1, 2, 3, 4, 100. Found 4 results but while looking for 5. It means it has found records for 1, 2, 3, 4 but the student with ID 100 does not exist. And this is the same for uh, if you pass these arguments into array you will get the same output okay could not find all students with id 1 2 3 4 and 100 okay so this is the find query method and how you can use this in your rails application okay so these are the two ways to find either a single or multiple instances of a model from the database okay so this is all about the find method and we saw the usage of find method with both single and multiple arguments in the next lecture we will discuss about find by method so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the another part of this lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe